Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.4.1, establish and maintain baseline configurations and inventories of organizational systems, including hardware, software, firmware, and documentation throughout the respective system development life cycles. Wow, that's a big, I mean, that's a big burden, right? Like if you're an IT guy, and you're looking at documenting every piece of hardware, software, firmware uh, that you've got in your system, man, that is not, that's not going to be a manual process. Or if it is, you might want to hire another help desk guy to go do that for you because that in itself could be a full-time job depending upon your network. So, uh, you know, here's how we would answer that. First off, I'm just going to say, look, if we're writing an answer, we're going to say it's implemented, see attached documentation, right? That's going to be the answer. Uh, because you're going to have to produce it anyway for an auditor or CMMC assessor. Uh, baseline configurations are kept up to date and documentation is reviewed and updated at a minimum annually. Uh, I also say, hey, look, there, there are lots and lots of solutions for network inventory. Spiceworks is one, Landsweeper, our friends at Network Detective. I love the Network Detective guys. Shout out to those guys. Big fan of them. Uh, if you're in the IT space, my biggest piece of advice here is do not try and create this manually. It could take you months with far less accuracy. And it's really valuable to use IT inventory tools to learn about the things you may not know about coming onto your network. So even in small networks, I know if you're, if you're the one person business owner out there, cool, um, you would be really surprised at what has found its way onto your network. I was just talking here with some of our team members about the idea of um, Internet of Thing connected devices and the ability to spot those. They're vulnerable. They don't run antivirus on them. Uh, again, I think it's a good control. I think it's really good to have real written documentation, but just going out and doing a network map in Visio is not good enough anymore. You really, really need to be able to have a system that can truly comb out through the wire and find out what's going on there. Uh, again, huge fan of Network Detective. Shout out to those guys. Uh, you know, again, it's just, I mean, that's a solution that we use. Um, you know, again, if, if you're a client out there and you're not an IT shop uh, and you want us to do a network detective scan for you so that you can understand better what's going on on your networks and maybe even get your initial baseline configuration and inventory, hey, give us a shout. Uh, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP-800-171 or CMMC on your own and you're looking for help like this, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links that are going to make your life so much easier. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. It doesn't have to be this hard. Love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the last, latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMC certification. Everybody's going to have to eventually get through it anyway. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.